This week's online assignment is going to be about the objections and replies to the first meditation. And this is going to be the only video that you're going to be seeing fairly short. I'm re-recording it. Last time it was about six and a half minutes. Maybe I can get, make it a little bit shorter. Now what's interesting about Descartes' meditations, you know, as a philosophical work, is that it was actually published with other philosophers' objections to the claims that are being made, the arguments that are being made, and Descartes' replies to them, uh, which is why, uh, while the meditations are a relatively short book, they're, some of the issues are really pretty complicated. And in order for you to get the flavor of kind of the, what goes on in philosophy, how you think about philosophy, the kind of the give and take in philosophy, we're going to take a look at, or I'm going to ask you guys to take a look at, uh, the first meditation, read it over carefully, look at the deceptive senses argument, the dreaming argument, what we were talking about in class, and by the way, if I'll scroll down a little bit, you can see I've posted a link to my lecture notes on the first meditation. And I'm going to want you to read over the first meditation. Yeah, in particular, you see at the top of 14 here, surely whatever I've admitted, you know, we get the, here's where the deceptive senses argument comes in. And I think I want you to read over the meditations and focus on that a little bit, because I also want you to focus on one of the objections and replies. And uh, I've actually, you'll see if you scroll down a little bit, there's the a link to the objections and replies, which I have posted. And let me now bring up that PDF, which is this PDF uh, file. And you can see, let me go back to the first page so you can see what it looks like. And maybe I'll zoom it down to 100%. Maybe even 75%. You can see, OK. So here I've just taken several pages out of a different edition of the meditations, which has portions of the objections and replies. And there's on page one. and page two down here let me highlight it for a second down here and up here is an objection to the it looks like the deceptive at least it's listed in this edition as an objection to the reality the reliability excuse me of the census now what I'm going to do is ask you and let me zoom down so you can take a look I ask you to take a look at the objection that begins here at the bottoms, uh, at the bottom of the page, of the first column at least, since we're looking at two pages on this, next to the number 418, it starts, on our ninth and most worrying difficulty in your assertion that we ought to mistrust the operations of the senses, dot, 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 and it goes on to the next page, right at the top. And it says it comes from the sixth set of objections. And I can tell you the sixth set of objections is uh, when it was published, which was kind of in the second edition, the first edition of meditation was published in, in Latin, the original language it was written in, as were the objections and replies. And the later, several years later, I think it might have been eight, as many as uh, six, seven years later, it was published in French. and. Uh, these appeared in the French edition, and it's it's titled Objections from Various Philosophers and Theologians, which were compiled by Mersenne, M-E-R-S-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. I think that was the, the middleman, the guy who ultimately was the Descartes publisher on this, and the guy who was funneling his meditations out to other philosophers, some more some very famous philosophers at the time, for their comments. So that's where the six objections come from. And right below that, you'll see next to the number, it should be 439. Yeah, 439. We have a paragraph, which is a um, the part of the replies that Descartes makes to this particular point. What I'd like you to do is do the read, read the meditations, read it carefully, then read the objection. And when I'm telling you, I, I not only want you to read it, but I want you to read it and analyze it. Take a piece of paper out as you're reading. Take some notes. Figure out what is the objection an objection to. If it's to one of the arguments that we're talking about, talk specifically about that argument. If it's something about Descartes' program, tell me exactly or think about exactly what it, it is in response to. Then explain 
or think about explaining what Descartes reply to this objection, why he thinks the objection is not a good one. And finally, having done that, I want you to sit down and make an assessment of who's right or wrong, and I want you to put together a posting, and you'll see I've put in a, let me, down at the bottom, I've put in a link to uh, a discussion forum. It's a discussion board to the post things over there. So right down at the bottom, there will be a link asking you to actually post your explanation of what the what Descartes position was, the objection is, Descartes reply, and finally who is right about this. So